morning, everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to be looking at um, multiplying decimals by decimals. Now, the other day, I'm starting to get my camera straight here. The other day, we worked on just multiplying decimals by whole numbers, but today we'll be multiplying decimals by decimals. And so you guys are all in um, your book. Now, if you are at home and do not have the book, that's okay. Um, I will provide questions for you later. But today, we're going to be working on page 79 in our Big Ideas book. And like I said, this is a uh, 2-5 multiplying decimals. So go ahead and label your paper if you're here with me or at home. And today's day is September the 17th, 2021. And we're starting at page 79 at the very top, number 36. Go ahead and write that down and <clears throat> don't mess with the decimals yet, but go ahead and attempt to complete this problem. All right, guys, what's two times seven? 14. I write my one, four and carry my one there. And then I don't really need to do much else, but what's two times zero? Zero, Caden, plus one is what? One. And so I don't really need to cross anything out because those are zeros and it's just going to be zeros across the board. But what I do need to do is I need to look at those decimals because the decimals are important right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count my decimals out to the very end and count them back in. So I have decimals in this and in this. So we need to look at both of those. All right. So I'm going to count it out to the end like we did in our previous decimals. One two. Do you see how I did that? I kept all of them. I counted one, two for both. Remember the decimals at the back? We're going to bring that decimal back in. Ready? One, two. That's the decimal. Now, if we were to write the answer in the proper format, it would look like that. What does that read? Fourteen hundredths. Very good. We don't say zero point. We say Fourteen hundredths. So you're doing essentially the same thing you did in the last time of multiplying decimals. It's just this time you have a decimal times a decimal. All right. Thirty seven. And guys, it might be important if you box your answers. Make sure and you circle the, the question uh, number. Go ahead and start with this question. Do you have to line your decimals up uh, when you're multiplying them? No, you do not. So you don't focus on the decimals at all until we're almost done. Go ahead and solve that without me, and then we'll chat. No, not multiplication. They do not need to be aligned. Only addition, subtraction. And then when we talk about division, you'll see what needs to happen with that. But multiplying decimals, they do not need to be aligned. All right? Class, what's three times eight? All right, so I'm going to write my four here and carry my two. I know that three times zero is zero plus the two. Right? Now, if I were to cross the three out and everything else, it would just be zero. So I'm not going to keep on with it. All right, now we're done with our question. Now we need to count our decimals out and count them back in. Help me out. Here's my decimal. Ready? One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, three. Send him to timeout, right? He's in timeout still. He's back here. We're going to bring him back in the room. We're going to do it how many times? Three. three. Ready? One, two, three. What goes in that hole? Zero. Good. So this is how you write it properly. All right, help me read this. 24 thousandths. Very good. All 
All right, we're going to skip some, and we're going to go to number 44 now. 44. Okay, 12 and 4 tenths times 2 tenths. Go ahead and begin. What's two times four? What's two times two? What's two times one? All right. Do I need to cross that out and all that? No, it doesn't. You need a pencil, sweet pea? There's some in the blue canister uh, on my desk. Yeah, but those aren't sharpened, and I left the pencil sharpener at home. See, the, see where the lotion is, sweet pea? There's some sharpened ones in there. All right, so we're done with that one. Let's count our decimals out and count them back in. Ready? One, two. All right, he's at the back. You ready? Let's count them back in. So we did one, two. Ready? One, two. Help me read this. Two and 48. Hundredths, very good. Two and forty hundredths. Nice. Ladies right here, are we doing okay? Put that up for me, okay? Thanks, VP. All right, we're going to move on now to number 45. And 45 looks a little different. It's 18 and 6 tenths. You've got this dot there and 5 and 9 tenths. What does that dot mean, Ben? Multiply. Exactly. Good job, Ben. You might, they use uh, these dots like this because you may use the variable X. An X variable also looks like the multiplication sign, right? So let's write this out. Remember, we don't really need to line our decimals up. Now, this one's going to be a little bit longer, right? Go ahead and begin this. You doing okay? All right, what is 9 times 6? 54. So I'll put my 4 here, carry my 5. What's 9 times 8? 72 plus 5. Awesome, 77. What's 9 times 1? Plus 7. 16. Excellent. I'm going to change my color because you know I like to change colors on my pens. Now, we're done with 9. Right? What do we do to him? Give cross him out, cross out his friends, and give him a big fat zero. What's five times six? What's five times eight? Forty plus three. Forty-three. Awesome. What's five times one? Plus four. Is that right, guys? Okay. I saw, I heard somebody say something else. All right. Now, let's add these up. Four plus zero. Seven plus zero. Six plus three. One plus nine. Ten. Nice. Ten. All right. Now, 
Remember, I need to count my decimals out. Ready? One, two. Count them back in. Ready? One, two. Big number. That's okay. Help me read it. 109 and 74 hundredths. 74. You got it wrong, sweet. You, you need me to redo it or you, you got it? Okay. It's just probably just a little mistake. I make little mistakes all the time. All right. I want to move on to 47. I want to move on to number 47. Now, this one's a long one, okay? So, I'm going to pause the video real quick, and I want you guys to work on it. All right, kiddos, we're back on it. Help me out. <clears throat> What's five times six? What's that? 30. Put a zero there, carry a three. What's five times one? Plus three? Very good. What's five times one? Nice. All right, now. What do we say? We are done with him. We are done with his friends. He is in the ones place. So put a zero there in the ones place. Let's continue. What's three times six? 18. Put an eight. Carrier one. What's three times one? Plus one? Four. Awesome. What's three times one? Nice. Very good. All right. Now, we're moving on to this number in the tens, this, this number here. So, what we're going to do is cross him out, cross his friends out. That's right. We put a zero for that guy and a zero for that guy. Nice. All right. Let's keep going. What's three times six? 18. Carrier one. What's three times one? What's that? Three. Plus one? Four. Nice. And what's three times one? Three. Nice. Now let's add up all our partial products. This was a little big. So um, I'm going to do one plus eight. It's easier for me. Nine plus four is 13. Plus five is 18. Four plus three. 7 plus 1, 8, and then the 3. All right. Now, we have a lot of decimals to count out. Help me count those. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. Let's count them back in. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4. This is a big number. Now. Do I need that zero at the end? No. So I could write it like this way. And if you have this on a test, you're probably going to have this um, answer here without the zero. So let's read it. Three and 886 thousandths. Yes, dear. Mm-hmm. You flipped it? Okay, you had those numbers flipped? Yeah. And that makes sense. Because you know that when you when you multiply, it's like when you multiply, it, yeah. It really doesn't matter unless it's like a tiny number on the bottom. I mean, sorry, a tiny number on the top and a big number on the bottom because then you will be like working that out for a long time. So... Do I have any questions right now about multiplying decimals? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to move into some of our activities. Um, that's going to help us make sure and determine that we understand this okay. All right, and then um, 
we're going to move into science after um, the break. So right now it's 8 o'clock. Go ahead and stop the video.